Hello, and welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today, we're going to learn a great expression and how to use it correctly. So, let's get started. Today, we're learning this expression, set foot in. And we see that we have foot without the foot or a foot or my foot or your foot. We cannot say set your foot in or set the foot in or set a foot in. There's no modifier. It's just set foot in. And what does it mean? It means when you go somewhere. It's to emphasize that you even put one foot inside this place. And you can use it for a room, a building, anything. Let's hear some examples. Now, we can all agree that this is the first time I've ever set foot in this house, correct? The library? You've never set foot in a library. Never set foot in this house again. Melissa said she'll never set foot in this house again. Now you are never to set foot in this house again. Jerry, as I told him when he walked out on me, on, on us, 20 years ago, the man will never set foot in this house again. Besides my family, you're probably the only other Jew to set foot in this town. Example, this is my garage, and my wife has never set foot in the garage. I want to emphasize that she has never gone there. She has never been there. She has not even put one foot inside this place. That's when I use the expression, set foot in. She has never set foot in a garage. So she doesn't know what's in there. She never goes there. It's dirty. She doesn't like it. We've lived here a long time, but she has never set foot in a garage. It's my place. And she never goes there. Ever. That's when I use the expression. Let's practice. Has she ever set foot in a garage? That's right. She has never set foot in a garage. Not even for one second. Not even one foot. You're emphasizing that fact. That's why we use the expression. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.